Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Prague's Tour Guide. My name is Patrick and I'm going to be a Prague Tour Guide today. Uh, in today's video we'll talk about another famous landmark of Prague, which is the famous Astro Omega clock right behind me. Um, in the video I will talk about the history of the clock and I will describe different features, what does it show and so on. So let's check it out. So we're standing here at the Old Town Square and the building behind me is the Old Town Town Hall. It was built in 1338. It's the first town hall ever built in our country. Um, the clock itself was built about 70 years later in 1410 by Czech clockmaster Nicholas of Kadaň. And until today it remains the oldest active astronomical clock in the whole world. So guys, at first we'll focus on the section of the clock in the middle, which shows us four different times. The old Bohemian time, the German time, which is today called the Central European time, and then the ancient Babylonian time, and finally the fourth time is the uh, stellar time. So the old Bohemian time, which we used here in Middle Ages, uh, is represented by the golden Arabic numbers on the black background. It's the outer, outer black circle. And the golden hand is pointing to number 23. Now, a new day, uh, in the old Bohemian time starts with the sunset. So 23 means that it's only one hour until the sunset from now. Next to it, the golden Roman numbers on the blue background is the Central European time. Back in the days, we call it the German time because it was used in Germany. And we switched to that time from the old Bohemian time in 1547. The Central European time is quite simple. That's the time we use uh, today. So it's a uh, uh, quarter quarter past three. Then the ancient Babylonian time, the third time, is represented by the black Arabic numbers on the blue background. It's in the inner circle. Also notice there are golden stripes and cre creating 12 fields. Now the ancient Babylonians, they would split the day into 12 parts and then they would watch the sun as it, go, as it goes through these parts of the day and that way they would tell time. Uh, so you have the symbol of the sun, then the 12 fields created by those golden stripes and one black number in each field. And uh, as the sun passes by, it tells us what part of the day it is. So guys, I think it's pretty cool that the clock also shows us the position of the sun. Uh, you know, that blue color on the clock represents the sky and then we have the symbol of the sun and it passes through the sky. So soon it will reach that red color, which means the sunset. There's a Latin inscription, Orcasus, which means sunset. And then it goes around and it rises on the left side, which represents the east, and it rises up and there's a sunrise. There's Latin inscription, Orcus, which means uh, sunrise. So it tells us the position of the sun on the sky. And the sun also helps us read zodiac, because zodiac is represented by that little circle within the circle and we have different zodiac symbols on it and the symbol of the sun is now in one particular part, one, one zodiac and that way we read the zodiac. And then we have the symbol of the moon which is the half black half silver ball. If it's all silver toward us it's full moon, if it's all black toward us it's new moon, if it's cut in half like this it means that only that part that's silver toward us is visible so it shows the, the face of the moon and its position. So as it is now quite below, it's quite, uh, it's uh, on, on the black part, it has the black background. It means that the, the moon is below the horizon, so we can't see it. Now guys, as you can see, people are gathering here. Uh, there's gonna be a show, you know, there's a little show every hour on the hour and it lasts about one minute. Okay, so now the show started. As you can see on top, there are two windows that open up and there are 12 statues of apostles turning inside. Now notice the skeleton, the statues below. Uh, the skeleton rings the bell and turns the sand clock. He represents death and he's telling us that we're running out of time. To the right of him is a Turkish man with a guitar. He represents the joys of life and he's shaking his head, refusing the death. Then on the left part, you can see a, a greedy man with a pouch of money and a stick. He is also shaking his head. He doesn't want to lose his fortune. And next to him, the symbol of vanity, who wants to check himself in the mirror. He has no clue that the death is coming. 
And uh, at the end of the show, you'll notice the rooster uh, crowing. Uh, it announces that another hour of life has begun, that we all survived. So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This, this show was actually rated as the third most disappointing tourist thing in Europe. Uh, number one was Mona Lisa and number two was a little mermaid statue in Copenhagen. So it's up to you. I think, uh, I think people don't appreciate how old it is, that it's still functioning, still original mechanism inside and it's from 1410, you know, and people expect some sort of David Capperfield show these days. So guys, the bottom part of the clock is a calendar. It's represented by that white circle and uh, there are 365 days and next to each day there is a name. You know, in, in the Czech Republic we celebrate names days. So, uh, for example, St. Patrick's Day. And notice on the top there is a golden arrow and that tells us what names day is today. Now next to it, closer to the center of the circle, we have 12 images of countryside life during different months. Those are different allegories of months. Then even closer to the center, there are symbols of zodiac. And finally, in the very center, there are three golden towers, which is the coat of arms of Prague. So I think it's pretty cool that we can actually read uh, what, na what names day we celebrate today uh, on a clock from 1410. Although it's true that the calendar was added later, it was added in 1490. And the current look is from the 19th century. Uh, it was given to it by a Czech painter Mikuláš Aleš. So let's talk about the statues on the bottom. Uh, if we start from the left side, there is a statue of Archivist. Next to him is Archangel Michael. And then if we go to the right side, we have astronomer uh, with a telescope in his hand. And next to him is a philosopher reading a book. Uh, these statues, however, don't move during the show, unlike those statues on the top. So guys, this is the end of our short tour about the old town Astromica clock. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Uh, now, uh, if you'd like to book a tour in person, either with me or one of my colleagues, you can go to our website, lucytours.com. Uh, as always, you'll find the link to our website in the description below the video. So thanks again, and uh, I'll see you on our next tour. Take care, guys. Yeah guys, one last thing, uh, if you could please subscribe to our channel, uh, it would help us a lot. You'll get notified of all our videos in the future and uh, we would be very grateful for it. So please do that, uh, you'll find the, bot uh, the, the button below the video, just by clicking on it you get subscribed and it's going to help us a lot. Thank you, bye.